shit. Let's see what the sign says. Nothing yet. We'll do something. Same exact same processor, slightly less powerful video card, but it would have 32 gigs of memory. I mean, I'd love to upgrade the memory in my, in my laptop, but to do that, I really would take it to a professional because the way that motherboard is flipped upside down. No, not gonna fool with that. And I guess the, nobody really sure why they did that, other than maybe the only reason possibly is. Keep because it's kind of a it. no, it's because it's like a thin and light for, okay. for a gaming laptop. Alright. No nobody one guy says nobody else does that though. Nobody has ever done nobody's done it since either, so one time bad deal. Because if it was just unplugging if it was just opening the bottom of it Throw in to new put new RAM in there, yeah, in there I would have done it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not really comfortable with pulling no, the no, not no, only no, undoing no. all that stuff. Nope. And then 
unseating the motherboard no, from the bottom no. and folding it out just no, to change to memory. Take, no, to take to snap any little no, cord or cable. Yeah, no. yeah. Nope. Even the guy, even the expert guy who does laptops and stuff like that every day says, I don't understand why the stupid design that they did with this laptop. So that everything else with this thing works. You can replace the Wi-Fi card. You can replace the SSD. Just find the normal way. Yeah. But to replace the memory, you have to flip this sucker out. That's stupid. Engineers weren't given enough time. <clears throat> well, or they were told for, for to a do gaming it. laptop, it, it is actually quite thin. Yeah. For, uh, for it, but again, it was a. Well, well, was what well, I wouldn't have bought it, but it, it, at the time it was the right price, and that's the money I had. Yes, but I'd like to have this slightly better one, yes, but I didn't have the extra $300 at the time, and I needed something. Yep, that's fine. That was when back when my back was going through its uh joyous period, and I couldn't mm -hmm. sit in front of it, and I could not sit in a chair for very long. The gaming laptop allowed me to lay on my bed, which I still do to some degree today. It's a lot more convenient. It, it doesn't put a lot of pressure on, on my back, thankfully. Although it's probably, it's, it's probably killing my neck. off that computer, the purple one, and the email things off of it. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you how much fun we have with trying to get that off when we've got your first. Yeah, I'm just telling you. For some unknown reason, email didn't want to transfer over. Even though I did it what I believe was the correct way. Yeah. So we had done it last time I had migrated it. This time, for some reason, did want to migrate. What about all the pictures? I wonder. Well, the pictures are easy to transfer. Yeah. That's hook up the thumb drive and just copy and paste. I tried doing that with the email. I don't know if it's Windows 10 versus Windows 11. Honestly, it shouldn't be that way. But the green one's 11. Green one. Yeah, that the blue one is is 11. The purple one is 10. Yeah, it's been upgraded to 10. Yes. Well, no, actually, no, it came with Windows 10, that's right, because we bought it in 2011, so 10 was out. Hard to believe 10 was out then. Yes. Like they're, like they said, they're, they're, they, uh, as of last year, was the last time they got any major uh, uh, upgrades, and then end, of, end of life support be in 2025 for Windows 10. And <laughs> here's the funny thing is, they're already talking about Windows 12. And I love how, because they were, they were doubting how, uh, remember how they said Windows 10 would be the last operating system they ever mm -hmm. do? They just put out a series of, you know, upgrades to it. Well, then they decided they need Windows 11. 
which really was really should have been a service pack for 10. That's how close it really was. When they, when they first brought out Windows 11, it just should have been a service pack. Um, but no, I decided not to do it and read the whole new operating system. It's how they screwed up everything. Because, because they wanted to integrate the Windows Store into, like, like Android does with their Android Store. They wanted to integrate. And you cannot get by that stupid screen. I hate that. That is the biggest problem I hate with Windows 11 is you have to register some kind of account, even if it's a dummy account, you have to register some kind of account to get into the operating system. There is no other way. So once you've registered it, even if it's a dummy account, now you can go in, after that you can go in there and put it to local control, as if you'd have a, everything was based, as if you would have made a regular computer account. But that's the biggest thing I hate about it is there's no way to get by that. Well, I'm, there's probably a way, but I don't really want to go in there and really hack the thing apart. But yeah, they're talking about Windows 12 in like a couple of years. Like, I think they said like 2026 20, like or 2027. Every two years you need a computer <coughs> to do nothing. Yeah, and it probably get, get progressively worse. Well, they were talking like they were talking when Windows 11 was going to come out. They were talking about making a subscription-based operating system where you had to pay a fee oh, per yeah, year yeah. just to use the thing. Yes, I don't need to use it that much. Just, just to do the basic core stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want, and then they were talking about modules. Mm -hmm. So, if you want all all video editing computer, well, not only do you have to pay your normal video editing stuff. Then you have to pay Windows, you gotta pay for the Windows basic um, fee for the basic thing, and then you gotta pay another fee that unlocks the, the full version, but only in the most mode you'd use uh, video editing. Mm -hmm. So like anything for gaming would still be locked down. And it's just, I hope they never go that way because I think people would finally uh, go to all uh, Linux stuff like <laughs>
factory. Mixed of different cars, mm -hmm. mixed together, going different places. Mm -hmm. Two things I want, but they're, I'm kind of questioning both, both of them. Yeah. I mean, and I know you've already told me both of them are stupid. Not, that may not necessarily be uh, correct. Um, I was thinking about that little desktop PC thingy, and it may or may not be needed. Really, not really needed. Um, That's the 
one you got work, do most of what you want. Oh, the laptop I have does. The desktop's still pretty good? Uh, I really don't use it for much because it's, I can't really sit on, I can't really sit there really. I mean, I can do turn it wanna, on, I can do stuff with it. Do we want to take it off of there or put it underneath? Yeah. Actually, giving it up there probably keeps a lot of the dust out of it. Yeah, it probably helps. And I don't really have that much room underneath it either. Yeah, that's true. Uh, one point we'll probably replace it with something else. I thought about building a brand new system, and then after looking at some of the reviews of the current generation, I'm like, um, no, maybe not. <laughs> It's pretty good. It was. Pretty I know, but I was going to build a. I was going to. This was going to. This generation was one that I was going to build a brand new system out. Oh. Well, they've had some problems, and they just found another problem with the newest uh, of the CPUs, causing they're yep. having yep. burn-in problems where the CPUs are starting to yep. burn up. And then they just found out it was a voltage issue. Too much voltage just being put into the. Well, that so they they've issued a. BIOS firmware update, which may fix the problem, may keep it there. But these things are come super overclocked from the factory, so you can't really overclock it anymore. They've pretty much pushed yep. what they can push. And that they're already running. Now here's there's the kicker is to get where they're getting. They are literally. You, you've heard of. Um, Thermal limits for C for processors yes, and stuff. They're pushing. They have pushed it right to the limit. That's a bad idea. The CPUs come from the factory. They can't overclock them hardly at all. Right. They come from the factory, and they sit at 95 centigrade. Not too hot. Well, that's like almost thermal limit for these CPUs. Yes. See, even if you have liquid cooling, you can't get it down. It's very hard to get it to go much. You can't. Yeah. You can't really get it to go much below that. They've over overdone it to where it's not going to be reliable. Well, it's reliable, but they they, they just found it. They were having problems with these uh, CPUs after a while, just burning up, and well, yeah. they determined from lots of testing that they put they were putting too much voltage into the things. There you go. So yeah. they issued BIOS fixes for it, but I'm sure they'll fix it in later in new chips but these are brand new, it's a new era of CPU that they've put out for consumers yeah. but it's totally different than everything they've done before um, the pins no longer there's no longer pins on the CPU on the CPU there are pins on the motherboard yeah. so if you break a pin on your motherboard you have to replace oh. the whole motherboard yeah that's not fun. well Intel's been doing it for years trouble with that is well now that they mount everything on the board sound card video yeah, yeah. card all that uh, other stuff wireless all that stuff's built in now well used yes no. kept, well you used to have to plug a lot of it in yeah. before but. Uh, just too, like, um, okay. I, was, I always said that the, the newest generation stuff especially if it's new from what they've been doing before you really want to wait till the second generation of that uh, yeah, so like that motherboard out, BIOS comes out because so you know shake out the it's like first generation Ryzen wall. Well, it was really good, but it had a lot of problems too. Yeah. And then so sequently generations they fix that. Well, it seems like they're having the same run problem with this stuff. It was like, well, yeah. oh, first generation's got all these issues. had so many problems with his motherboard and, a, and, a, and the gigabyte tech support ran through all the 8 million other things that could possibly be the issue. Yep. 